Good morning. Uh, the prayer today is, uh, Heavenly Father, we remember that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So when when we get this discouragement, it comes, comes and you find that you have been walking by sight instead of by faith, head back to the Scriptures and, and let the promises of God build your faith back to the strength. Amen. 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 That would be the one. Okay. Oh, wait. Do you have April 5th on this? It's That's supposed to be April 5th. Okay. One second. That's it. I'm sorry, I just looked at what's going on. I'm like, no, it does say okay. April 5th, but it, it's March 27th. On April 5th, on April 5th uh, I approved for the Department of Water Resources, approved an executed service contract agreement with Santee Lock and Moore LLC to perform lock and key related services and repairs as needed in various locations within the department for a period of one year, effective April 5th, 2023, in an amount not to exceed $1,500. And for a liquor license conferred with Bainbridge Township Trustees, they're not requesting a hearing on the liquor license being requested by Biggs Way LLC, doing business as Biggs Way, located at 7252 Woodland Avenue, Chagrin Falls, Ohio. CTRFO 0717875. So we have a motion for 80 minutes, the 23rd, the 28th, and the 7th. I'll make a motion on 2, 3, and 4. Second. Motion on Yes. Yes. I'll approve uh, the 23rd and 7th of March and the Okay. okay. Um, financial. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today's financials include a transfer from the General Fund for Public Assistance for our April through June 2023 mandated share from the General Fund to Community Development, Nuts and Bond, Board of Elections for our first quarter 2023 interest transfer, and then to Family First for our April through June 2023 commitment. There's also a reversal of the cash transfer from Water Resources from 328 that was found to be ineligible uh, and, and ineligible transfer and reissuing that transfer from Chardon Township Sewer Project to the department's operating fund. This is where that seed money that's being returned originally came from. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, among the vouchers are 116,797.35 from the commissioner's office to Portage Geauga Point Juvenile Detention Center for our second quarter 2023 operational commitment. 51,909.92 from the Commissioner's Office to the Ohio State University for the county's first quarter 2023 program support payment. $169,419.68 from the Commissioner's Office to then Design Architecture Limited for pay requests related to phase one and two of the county office building project and the courthouse renovation project. And finally, $146,849.22 from the engineer's office to Bainbridge Township, which was $53,064.69, Chester Township, which was $59,668.12, and Russell Township, which was $34,116.41 for snow and ice control agreements for the 2022-2023 season, um, which was a, well, the total for last year was $139,864.07. Very good. I'll uh, make a motion to approve financials. Second. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Curiosity, um, why wasn't that part of the original design of this building? 
it got missed in the in the design and construction. Okay. So not part of the overall okay. plan. Okay. I'll make a motion. Second the motion, but I agree with Tim that that's you know that's a bricklayer on the job. I think that's like one of the first things that they put in when you're laying out the foundation and the steel erection. The guy's up on the roof of the top saying he's bringing the copper wires down, implementing everything ready to go. And it's like the third or fourth thing to do on the job site. So I'm very disappointed. But I second the motion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Easter. Thanks. There will be two items. Um, the first one, we're just extending the length of a contract we have at Buckeye Scale. We do our scale cal uh, calibration over at McFarland. Their current contract ends um, at the end of August, and we need to have scale calibration after that. So we're going to extend it to December 31st. Uh, there's no change to the amount of the contract. We still have plenty of funds on the PO. Do you have a scale mechanism at each plan? No, just McFarland. Just McFarland? Just McFarland. Yeah. <coughs> Except what you're seeing. Except, yeah. Because the auditor has a weights and measures department which goes out to measure all the scales at the grocery stores and at different farms and things like that. So mm -hmm. they check this one too. They check this one too? But that, so this is a double this, calibration? This is, this is for our folks to go out and actually calibrate it so when the auditor comes out and checks it, it, it checks correctly. I'll make a motion. Second. Aye. Yes. Okay, the next item um, we're revising or asking you to approve the revision of the 208 facility planning area for Burton Township, um, amending the change from February 28, 2023. We're correcting the map to include prior approved areas in the Berkshire Industrial Park service area. And I believe there was a copy of it. It was saved. Yep. Yeah, so moved. Second. Aye. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> um, well, commissioners, um, what we're wanting to do here is to switch it up a little bit for summer and seasonal help. Um, we've been having an, an issue getting summer and seasonal help. It used to be that all well, times have changed, as we all know. So um, what we're looking at is for the two departments that need the summer help the most. Um, we're asking that you um, approve the title of the job description and the new rate for our summer and seasonal help for our water resources department and our maintenance department. Both of those need um, um, help that is um, like 17, 18 year olds um, that can run equipment and do different things. So we're asking for your approval on that. Okay, I'll make the motion. Second. Motion yes. Motion yes. Motion yes. Motion yes. Motion I, I mean, we're going to be advertising for some of that stuff because it doesn't seem like the papers really work. And yeah. I don't know what else could we try to do. To well, we do put it in the News Herald, and the News Herald does put it out to different search engines. There's quite a few of them. They'll stay in the paper for seven days. It'll be on the News Herald website. We can also, put, we, I, I'm thinking we should also put it in the Good News. We actually have, for these types of jobs, we have luck with that. So we're looking to do, to, to do that. We also send it out to 75 other places, including colleges, Auburn Career Center, um, our townships, you know, people, word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So we try and cover the gamut. You know, all, the, all the high schools? All the high schools, like I say, Auburn, the colleges, Kent. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And we've been doing that. It's just lack of bodies. I don't, as we're in the same boat as everybody else. But we're trying our hardest to. And we're hoping that this will have some interest also to have um, people come in here and take a look at water resources really does. I know another county is doing an internship program at the same rate to try and generate interest in, you know, in high school you don't know, you don't know the questions to ask, you don't know what you don't know. So if you expose 
um, people to the different and various things that our departments do could create interest and somehow you know, offer the job down the line. So that's what we're praying for anyway. Is the county going to have a table set up at the uh, Cardinal High School job fair? Um, unfortunately, I'm going to be at, um, out of town that week, but I'm not sure if, I know we did it last year, I'm not sure if anyone's going, I know we have a few Water resources. Yeah, okay, that's how that that perfect. Oh, good. Did you know that? I mean, yeah, oh. I, I mean, they invite me directly. Yeah, invite us directly. So we will be there. That was a direct order. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And I know they're doing also um, something interesting. It's called a reverse job fair where you walk in and the kids are sitting there selling themselves and the counties and the employers are kind of walking around, which I, I think I'm going to really attend there. I think yeah. it'll be fun. Like that. Yeah. Kind of a 4 H approach when you're sending out letters and stuff, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're trying our best for sure. So, so item number 10 on the agenda is to ask that. You have a motion for 10 minutes? I'll make a motion. Second. Shalana? Yes. Shalana? Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you.
First, the first thing we wanted to talk about was the tax and wait for uh, Rick was up, uh, we've sent information. Part of our master plan we've had for 15 years, plus or minus, is to expand the airport and to put a building new taxi way. Uh, currently, we're asking for the commissioners to help us with the local match for the taxiway project. Engineering to happen this year and construction next year. I think in round figures, it's about $100,000 local match over the two years. Uh, but this is, again, this is just part of our master plan we've been talking about for a long time, which and we've got a lot of positive things happening out there, thanks to the board and Rick, and we just want to keep the momentum going. <clears throat> the, right now, we're at the pre-app stage, where I would sign the pre-app, set up the FAA, uh, get in the queue for funding, and then the final app, would, we would actually need formal uh, authorization for the commissioners to happen. I think they're talking May for the- It's due May 5th. The final app, so we're, it's gonna be pretty bang bang. I mean, we've we've been you know after, we've been trying to get this done for a few months now, and just because of the process, it's we're here today. So, um, so <clears throat> it would be over a two-year. Um, the match would be over a two-year span. Correct. The, the engineering is this year. I, I think in uh, Michael Baker's letter, the engineer that, that is designing it for us, gave us kind of a, a kind of a, a cliff notes version of the justification for what we're doing. Yeah, I saw that. All right, yeah. and then they're they're talking about you know why we need to do it. You know, safety is the biggest thing. Yeah. And so um, the parallel taxi. Correct. Keep, keep the taxi guys off the main runway so we don't have access. Yeah. Um, but then there, they I think it's this year engineering local matches, nine thousand, ten thousand for this year, mm -hmm. and then the balance of it will be construction for next year. So they'll give us the year to budget for it. So it's a so it's a, you said it's a, it is a hundred thousand. Now look over the two year period. Yeah, and okay. that's round figures. Okay. Just a little under. Yeah, oh, there's okay. yeah the numbers are on that letter. <coughs> But we, you know, again, we want to keep this moving. I mean, the master plan has been on the books since uh, I think half of us were still in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so local share 91,791. Right. Sound right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and, and we'd like your, you know, obviously, we, we, I, we can't send in the FAA and say, yes, we're good to go until you guys give us the nod that, yes, you're good. We can't, just so you're aware, they can't take any action during the work session. And in order for this to take place, you have to do a resolution in order to give him authorization to sign it. We've already done that. We do not have a resolution. The, the airport authority has authorized me to do it. The commissioners have to give you authorization. The pre-app? Uh, uh, the pre-app? That's so, what Rick sent me. So do you need a resolution from us or from? You need a resolution for the from your airport board to the commissioners, and then the commissioners have to do a resolution authorizing you to submit the application. The final so, the, 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 this request, this request from Rick says pre-application. Okay. So the commissioners have to give you authorization to submit that. Okay. And you can't do that today. Not right now. They have to. They can't do anything during the work session. Why, why, am I work, um, why, why aren't we at an actual meeting where we can have them do that? Can I finish? When they are done with the work session, mm -hmm. they will go back into a regular session before they adjourn. And they can choose to take action at oh, that time. Oh, thank you. That's what works. However, right. Yeah. You're, right now you're just having discussion. Yeah. But we would have to do a resolution in order to give them <clears throat> authorization to do that pre app. The request that you gave me has a dollar amount on a local match of 96, 713, 79. Mm -hmm. Does that include the, you said the engineering was 9,000, and then Tim said that the amount was 91. That was the so I'm not for, sure. the, for the pre app, the whole project. Okay. Tim, you said the amount was 91. Well, that's what it says. Local share uh, 91,791.64. If that's correct, it says total cost. <clears throat> that's what Michael Baker, our engineer, gave us. Yep. And again, remember this this is the pre-app. Yep. I mean, I think might have sent in the, the draft of the pre-app. Right. Because it is time sensitive. So there's the design costs about nine grand, <clears throat> and then the remainder is 82. Project cost, right. That almost a million, a million Right. Million yeah. Right. That's, that's yeah. That's yeah. 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 No, for sure. Yeah. And again, those those numbers are all estimated. Yeah. Again, at, at a construction uh, point of view, I think that they're probably overinflated from the engineer. Okay. You gotta watch your engineers. I'm telling you. <laughs> 
So, um, so just so, so they'll have to go back to their board, and make a resolution. For no, if, if what Chip is saying is that their board already took action oh, they did. to authorize okay. yeah, yeah, we just need the request that I got from Rick is for to give Chip authorization to submit the pre-application. Oh, okay. The, the pre-application, which the only thing that you guys received was um, in this request was the financial statement. Um, with the preliminary numbers and right. the original resolution that was included. Um, we have to do a resolution giving off him authorization to sign it under cap. Right. And if, if these are based on preliminary numbers, do we have to make a resolution on the exact amount of them? The exact amount? We, I mean, the, what, uh, what Rick gave me and what you guys are talking about doesn't, they, they don't match. So we will have to get correct numbers for that. Okay. For that yeah. Okay. But I mean, we are also under a time crunch because it's taken us long to get this far. And they, you know, the final app is due in a month. And this is where we're supposed to free, this is the pre app stage. So the things are going to have to happen in big bang boom. And so we're asking for action today if we can get it. So let me ask you this what if we did it not to exceed on this, just to cover us as far as that number? And being able to yeah, we get out of the work final session, and then when we get the final application, we could do that. But at least it gives them the ability to move forward on that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate that. Yeah. 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 You, can't, you have to wait until you're done. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. Good. So that's, that's I think, covers the taxiway project. Uh, <clears throat> the second item, as part of a request, you know, I, the commissioners approve funding for Hangar 1 where we keep, where they keep the helicopter. As part of that request, several months ago, I sent a letter in. Um, the hangers four and five, the old spillings on the on the field, the roofs are in bad shape. And I thought, and the board thought, that it would be good. Since we're out there having a contractor doing new roofing on hangar one, let's see if we can get hangar four and five done at the same time. So, and we had a very rough estimate, 150 grand from a mall company in Newberry to do that. Um, and we were just asking commissioners if we could put that on the budget sometime to get that done. Um, back, how long years ago was the snow? 15? With the collapse. 2018. 18 is when we had a severe snow load where we had to do work, structural work to those buildings. The airport authority spent 60 grand? Almost 60. 60 grand then to keep the buildings from falling down. Uh, but now the roofs are in such bad shape we can't patch them anymore. Uh, so we'd like to ask the commissioners if you can put it in, their, in your funding budget somewhere to do that. We have interest from local schools in Kansas State about doing some flight schooling and teaching. We have a space in that building, but we can't use it until we fix the roof because of moisture problems in the building. So we'd like to ask the commissioners to think about helping us pay for that. Uh, the again, the four and five, hundred fifty thousand, which was a very rough just to start the conversation. Also, last year when we did the new T hanger, commissioners helped us fund the, the actual building itself, but we put in probably another hundred thousand into paving, storm drainage, landscaping everything else around that building. So we've spent a lot of money on things that are more than just maintenance items in the last couple of years, uh, trying to make things better, which, you know, again, we've got some momentum going. We're full, thanks to Rick, keeping everybody happy. And uh, we just want to keep it moving. So if the commissioners can help us with roofing for the buildings four and five. So let me ask you, what, so what do you, so once the other uh, hangar is in place and Let's say four and five were to get repaired. What what could you look at as far as a, like a um, a monthly return on that? And we could we could you know if we did something similar to what we did with the hangar, you know, almost kind of hit that reset button and say, you know, if we did this moving forward, we could just look at it and say, you know, a payback of X number of dollars over X number of years. What 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 would we be looking at once everything is up and running? I'd have to analyze that. Yeah, I guess because there are existing buildings where we are getting existing rent. I mean, for the new building, the math was easy because we have a new building, new tenants, okay. so that the rent was calculated to offset the loan we got from the commissioners. Okay. Where now we are, this is an existing income stream, which um, because of you know things are going on, we're, we're trying to obviously keep staying the black in our books. Sure. If we had to pay back, I'm not sure we could afford it to stay in the black. Okay. To, to do, I think, what you're thinking. Yeah. 
So let me ask you this too. So last week we just had our, our pre-meeting for the uh, Community Economic Development Block Grants. Do you see that any of this, uh, any of, of that money could potentially go towards any of these projects? No, because that's going to be either, <coughs> it, it has to be either LMI or additional jobs. It has to do with ADA compliance. They have gotten that grant from the past for upgrading that. Have you, have you researched any other um, possibility, uh, revenue sources, grants, anything like that that can help? Uh, yeah, we've pretty much exhausted you know, what is available out there. Uh -huh. uh, FAA won't fund it, uh, mm -hmm. ODAT doesn't fund it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got some interest in the education part, part of uh, the field, and we've got a space where we could do that. Let me ask you, so the money that's collected off the <coughs> rent of these hangers, I mean, are we, I mean, I obviously with the new hangers, but you know, over the decades that those hangers have been up there, I mean, isn't that some of that money supposed to return back towards, you know, us eventually, you know, putting well, we fine? Like I said, though, we spent a hundred thousand last year on doing you know, drainage improvements, site grading, so we have taken the money, the income we've earned from that, those buildings, mm -hmm. and put it back in the field. Has it been back into those exact buildings? Not yet, okay, but it's you know, we're just trying to prioritize what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And we took care of what we thought was the priorities last year, and looking forward for priorities for this year. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously nobody wants to see the roof falling in on them, especially the, the, the tenants that are paying for it, right? Yes. You know, so, um, you know, I think, you know, how, I mean, obviously these things have, are, are starting to show their age, right? These, you know, I drove by there the other day, and you can tell they're, you know, they're getting the older. And I guess there's only you can only put so many band aids on something until it's kind of we've we've smeared we've gone over flashlights yeah. at night looking for the stars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just curious, like you know, those buildings as a whole, you know, putting so we're we're basically gonna put new roofs on those old buildings. Correct. And you know, it just makes me, you know, sometimes they you know weigh the benefit and the cost. Is it is, is that a good way to use the money, or is it better to Talk about you know new hangers versus we just spent <clears throat> for no, one building fifty grand a unit, and those how many units are in our new old ten hangers? Ten. Or Each, twenty total. Twenty. Mm -hmm. So if you twenty times fifty, mm -hmm. bucks, yeah. that's more than a new roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. And if you did that, Chip, what do you think? in as far as the the term that it would that if we put the new roof on structurally, do you what do you think the life is going to be on those that structure. I, I mean, structurally, because of what we did, I think right. there's there's another. I, I, I can't say, but I, I don't see that there that the building is the structure is falling apart to the point where mm -hmm. we can put a number on it. It's going to last 10, 20 years. I think it's you know you keep the roof, you keep the water out. Those buildings will last you know, a long time, 30, 40 years. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Okay. I'm just just curious. You know, sometimes. You know, it's like you, you just got all band aid and nothing else. You know, and looked at a couple other yeah. possibilities for repairing what's there. And yeah, at the end it was a band aid, and the best they figured you could get is two or three years. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, we've probably patched those holes since I've been on board at least three times. So, we talked about the possibility of doing like a round two with hangers, right? You know, yes. down the road. Yeah. You know, going new, because those have been such a hit. I mean, the deposits, we had the place sold out before we even. I mean, and, and, we, fantastic. and we already have deposits for the next building. For the next go right. around. We just, we just want to get some things finished mm -hmm. before we jump into the next project. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last year we spent a lot of money. I'm just thinking, you know, um, just, you know, I don't know if, if, if the better decision is long term is to, um, instead of putting just a new roof on, just go in new hangers. You know, I don't know. The benefit of the, the current hangers and, and keeping them with just the repaired roof is that these are what we call our budget hangers. Mm -hmm. So it's a lower cost. It lets okay. more people that might not otherwise keep an airplane there okay. keep an airplane there. If, if we had to build a new building, this would be red, we'd probably have to double mm -hmm. what we're charging now, and I think we'd lose tenants. That's, that, that's, that becomes challenging then because then you lose the fuel. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's kind of like one one hand. But it seems like you you filled it up pretty quick. I mean, even at the higher rates, right? I mean, well, I'm not sure what the market is out there. I mean, we have enough. We have deposits now for the for the second mm -hmm. new T hanger. Mm -hmm. We're ready for that. 
He says, I don't think financially we're in a position right now to, to take that jump. Because we have to come back to you to ask, ask for the money. And we want to finish. No, I understand. We want to finish most things first. I like what you said before about investing in the infrastructure because the infrastructure before you worry about a wall or a roof, and you've already right. taken care of that. Right. right. I like that. Yeah. No, we we have some drainage and some drainage done uh, around the new hangar. So we push snow so we can get better drainage. You know, clean the taxiways up. Uh, yeah. Again, we've done more in the last couple of years at that airport uh, than they've done in the last 15 or 20 because I've been on board that long. Yeah. We'll keep it going. So, yeah, I guess we're that in 18, um, Tim, I think you were here already. Also, in 18, we had that heavy snow, and that, that, yeah, was, that was quite a. They almost fell They in. almost yeah. fell and collapsed. That would have been a nightmare. But that now, I mean, that was a big project, too, that you guys pretty much did that right of doing it, fixing it correctly so that we right. didn't have that again. Right. And, we, and we, we paid the bill for that. We took care of it. So, so I, I think in, the our, in, are, in our agreement, our MOU with mm -hmm. the airport, um, you know, I think it's pretty specific in there as far as the, the maintenance part of it, right? Right. <clears throat> and and um, I guess that would be cons that would consider you know patching the roofs and stuff like. Well, that. I guess what it, where it is the break yeah, between maintenance and new? Well, this is like on past. It sounds like it's, this has become a, a structural issue, or it's well, I mean, patching a hole is maintenance. Putting yeah. a new roof on is, yeah. I think, a capital investment. Yeah, right. So, but, but again, we you know, we spent a hundred thousand last year on improvements, not maintenance. Mm -hmm. So if you if you you know, basically put the money in a different bucket, no, you know. So you know, we're just trying to prioritize what we have and tick you know yep. tick off the no the it's, priorities. It's good. Time. I mean, listen, that was the whole idea. I think from the beginning is. That the airport, I mean, it always has been self-sufficient, but this really gives it a boost beyond just selling fuel. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like, you know, really not state-of-the-art hangers, but it's this is a big step up for and brings a different type of clientele to Geauga County. Mm -hmm. which, you know, I think it was the intent also. Right. You know, so it wasn't just a, um, you know, you're, you're getting a lot of tractor product, but um, you know, I, I guess you know, I'm, I'm supportive of the roof. Doing it, obviously, we're going to have to do it. I just, I'm still kind of stuck on the possibility because if we're going to be doing new hangers eventually, you know, is now the time to say that's the. I mean, we, we have interest. I mean, we've had people approach us about doing aircraft aircraft maintenance, mm -hmm. and we have guys that are doing it now uh, that they need to have their own space. So I would think rather than build new T hangers, you could put them in there. We need to build a new building for that type of use. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I understand what you're talking about is long-term investment. Where's the best money? They put the money, place put the money. Putting a new roof on the T-hangers, keeping our baseline income steady, but creating, you know, on our master plan, you'll see we've got places for, you know, either more uh, community hangers and or a place for guys to do maintenance because, you know, we have guys doing maintenance right next to somebody else's airplane. Right. And we've had a little bit of friction. Yep. yep. I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard that oh, friction, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm not so, going to so, And, and yeah. we're, we're, we're dealing with it. Yeah. It's not the best. But I would rather put money into a new hangar for that use rather than okay. a new okay. Just, okay. And that's kind of our thought process is, uh, you know, growth. Growth. So Good. Okay. So, so, I, so, that, as, so that's about, uh, you said 150 roughly. And that, that was a very, a couple years old number. Okay. Um, yeah, we can come back with a formal request for that money, but I just want to try to plant a seed, put it in the back of your minds um, as to what the new number is because construction costs for certain materials have, you know, not gotten any better. Yeah, okay. So, so, so the other thing too is what about the possibility, like, to, to explore some of the land lease opportunities if you did have someone that wanted to build a... That was one of the things I was just thinking of yeah. mentioning. That, you know, we basically kind of are in a no-lose you know, no situation with that to be able to say, you know, you want your mechanical shop, you, you know, build the building. Obviously, the board, you know, the airport commission needs to approve what they're doing <coughs> and then, you know, move forward from there and then you set that base, you know, base of what the land lease is going to be, and then they construct the building, and then you have zero cost. We, we have had people approach us in the past about doing that, mm -hmm. uh, and we have established a rate for a land lease, um, but it, it's you know it's a pretty costly thing, and, and you know, 
being a mechanic fixing an airplane or two, you know, cash flow to bill pay for a mm -hmm. half million dollar building. You know, that's a big nut to crack. Yeah. But yeah, we're open to all any ideas, any growth. But I think if you get the guy that I mean, what, you know, I know what I paid for my annuals, and it's it's up there. Yeah. And if you get the guy that's that's serious about doing that for a business, that's the building is a small investment. Real, real, you know, realistically, mm -hmm. what is return on investment would be? And for that type of building, there are programs yeah. through the state. Yeah. And you know, we have had talk in the previous years about an FBO, but the first thing the FBO wants is the fuel, mm -hmm. right? And that the fuel is half of our yeah. right, but We can't give that up. No. no. So that's that's the mix. Is you know, the FBO wants everything, all profits off the field, and we're not positioned to give that up. Mm -hmm. not turn into portage. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because that is a nightmare, right? Yeah. I still think jet fuel would probably be a good addition to that fuel farm. We've talked about it. The math doesn't work right now. Can you bring them in there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Small jets. Yeah. 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 We had one a couple weeks ago. Really. <clears throat> but they're not going to change their flight plan to come into our field just for a lower price fuel. Right? We researched the tank supplier, the fuel supplier, and looking at the turnover we'd have to have. And it's right now, with you know, we've got one jet base at our facility. Yeah. Two. Two. Air planes plus the helicopter that would use the jet. Yeah. And uh, the amount of fuel that we would have to run through there, there it doesn't make sense. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Now if we had 20. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And the cost of equipment on top of that. Yeah. It's, it's on our radar, but it's, it's down, down the path. Yeah. Like that was like the discussion with the extending the runway and all that. Well, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the taxiway is a much shorter, easier job to accomplish. The extension of the runway, more property purchase, environmental studies, all kinds of other utilities. things. Years down the road, yeah. the um, utility. We want to get the low fruit first, yeah, and that's where we're. That's where. No, we're I, I think this taxiway thing is a no brainer, yeah. and that will help with the congestion that we sometimes have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a safety thing too. Oh, sure. Without having a you know a traffic tower, you know they've got to navigate themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So let me ask you, like on the jet on the jet fuel part of it, what what type of number did you were you guys at to, to basically initiate that to be able to have jet fuel? We need to be running about uh, twenty five to fifty thousand gallons a month to make it worthwhile. And we don't have that much demand, but it, you know, is a build a naval come thing? Uh, that's a, that's and how do they do with the experimental gas that you guys have? Is, are you showing numbers of, of return on that? Um, with the, the 93, and it's barely paying for itself. We don't get enough. And you couldn't people. transition that system to do job? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's only 500 gallons that it holds. And uh, those planes, as you know, take about that much it mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll brush up a number for the new hoops on the 4 and 5, and then get it up to you. And if we can figure out a way to fund it, um, you know, well, back Hangar One, the build, bid documents are done this week for Hangar One. Yes. So we're going to review those and get that out. Jerry, the bidding process. How do we want to handle that? Because you wanted to go through. Yeah, that needs to come through this through commissioner. So you'll, you'll handle the advertising and the bidding. Bring it, bring it to the bid. Bringing it to the commissioners to approve going out the bid. All right. And then you guys would put out the bid, put out the advertisement, but the bids would come here and then be open. Okay, so so you just authorize it, but we, we do all the legwork to make it happen. Correct. Bids come in, and then is the contract going to be with the commissioners or is it going to be with us? Yeah. Both as a co sponsor. Yeah, I'll have to double check on that. I'll all right. Have to, have to pass, but, yeah. So whatever works. The roof would have to go out to bid as well, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah different bid. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. Is it 50 grand? It's, yes, the threshold is 50,000. I do have to watch because there's requirements that <coughs> are getting quotes for your project that there's restrictions on whether they can bid or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would also all be for Yep. Okay. So when your bid documents are ready, you need to call me so we can set up your bid opening date and time okay. and what your requirements for your advertisement dates will be because that's all part of the motion of closed session to advertise. Sure. Okay. Hope by the end of the month we'll have that ready for you.
I'm sure the merits of the yeah. job was done before the snow flies. That's and a great goal, Jim. And then as far as with the properties, the Vanderlock property is done. Right, Ford's so done. The um, Hodgins, we're, we're, we're waiting to close that out. And that's one of the third items we wanted to talk about today okay. is the local match for that grant. And uh, I, I understood that the commissioners would make a local match and that the seller would donate money back to the airport authority. That's how I understood the process was going to happen. See, from my recollection, there was a there was a change from what the price was. The original price was was I can't recall, and then they came back with a higher price. Because mm -hmm. we missed the deadline. Because mm -hmm. supposedly, but originally the FAA was 100 percent grant. There wasn't a local match. Okay. And because of the, the delays in getting it processed, right? That the then it became a 10 percent, or it's a 5 percent local match. Five percent local match. And that was what about one hundred ninety thousand? One seventy, I think. One seventy. But it's the thirteen is roughly in some change. It's a local match. Because I thought that we we went we they increased my my understanding. My last conversation with this was they basically had lost rent or something mm -hmm. based on when the deal was done. The the discussion we had was that you know the way I understood it. And you know, if, if I got understood it wrong, let me know. But the commissioners would make the local match that the seller agreed to donate back the same amount to the right, airport. Right, they would level us up. So yeah, the, correct. And, and, and in the grant, there were three months of rent included in the grant funding. Right. But it took nine months to make it all happen. So and, and the, so. You listening? But anyhow, the, the, that's how I left it. Was that the. The seller would, would donate back to the airport. Right, that would cover the yeah, cover basically. Match. Right, but the match still came from the commissioners originally. No. That's not the way I heard it. Yeah, because I thought the way that we were was we agreed to the higher price with the understanding that the donation was going to cover the match. That's how I remember. Yeah, it was, I remember sitting here talking about it. I remember it like Mr. Hatsby. Because it was left up to, up to the airport authority to go back to the seller to negotiate what we could get back from the seller. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought that that money was going to go back to the, taking care of the, the match. That's the way I understood it. So what would the match be then on our part? Thirteen grand, and roughly thirteen three twenty or something. Oh, I thought it was thirteen or thirteen five. That's yeah. it. I thought it was like more. Right. No. But but the donation that he was going to do was going to be more than the match, correct? No. Or was going to be that? Yes. Yes. And, and just, I mean, we brought, brought some other papers with us. Is that is to show? So it's thirteen thousand, roughly, roughly. Okay. See, for some reason, I had a yeah. thirty some thousand too. number in my head. But I it just, 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 just look. I'll meet you. <laughs> just to show you, in the last ten years, this is a summary. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can't read it, Ralph. You just have to believe what I tell you. one <laughs> page. This this is a ten year summary of the matches the commissioners have made, and the average is about fourteen, which is the our green was twenty five. So I just want to show you that we've used less than what. Yeah. No, it, there's no argument no, there. Yeah. There's yeah. no argument, but the deal was the deal at the time, and I remember because we were bumping up against the time deadline that there was a. Some consternation of this deal even moving forward. Sure, no, I remember. And, and we I told him, we said, listen, we'll walk. Remember? We said, right. yeah. we'll walk. And that, we're not going to do old it. rent thing was really yeah. kind of one of those deals where yeah. it's like you're getting top buck based on, you know, yeah. an inflated, inflated appraisal. And then, and, but then and Ralph kind of, I think, was the one, if I remember correctly, that kind of came up with that idea of seeing if you could go back to the seller and see if he would be willing to make a donation back. To help, and my, but, my but, opinion was that to satisfy the match. Right, well, I, I remember the donation part of it, but I don't remember yeah. that actually the yeah. match. Yeah. So has he gotten any money yet for it? Deals. The, I mean, the deals, the deals I believe that. Right, right? Yeah. That everything with that grant. And has, has he given us back the donation yet? Yes. Okay. Can we check the minutes? Do we have minutes for that meeting? It's not okay. And then how how much was his donation? The, it took nine months for the deal from the date we made the deal. Okay. And we got 44000 what was it, the check for, do you remember? For what? For the donation back to the airport. 
from here? It, it just, just for discussion purposes, about 4000 because during that nine-month period, he lost all of his rent. Mm -hmm. He had to pay taxes. He had to pay all the, all the utilities. And that was the deal the airport authority made because of a relationship with him and what okay. he donates back to the airport. So we did get money back. How much? I, all I remember is about 4000 Yeah, it's just a little bit under that. Yeah. I don't remember the exact figure. And I, I have the, there, but there was action that was taken when yeah. you guys had to re-sign the sale and purchase right. agreement that there was an increase at the beginning for that, that to even sign the new sale and purchase mm -hmm. agreement because he had lost rent. So they had to agree no, no. an increase to him on the actual purchase price of the property. Correct. There were three months. There was three months included in that agreement. The, the six. There was another six months that the airport authority agreed to. To take off of the the thirteen thousand because of the nine month it took three. Yeah, we weren't part of that. That was that was the, the way I understood it was that the the commissioners agreed to make the match and the airport authority went back to the seller to negotiate the no donation back. And the time of that deal, the agreement was a full amount. I respectfully disagree with you on that. Too. Well, I, that's that's yeah. fine. I mean, that's but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not saying. Yes, yeah. I actually yeah. asked the question to Jerry at the time as to was the commissioners going to be paying the local match. And then Pierre making a donation to the commissioners to cover the local match because that was my understanding is that the local match was being paid by the donation from him. And I was trying to get out of Jerry like what we had to do on our end to, to facilitate that payment, whether we were paying it and Pierre was making a donation back to the county or if he was going to give it to you as the local match and then the commissioners weren't paying for it. We opened that blanket not knowing and then when i asked jerry when we were closing stuff out at the end of the year he's like no my understanding is that pierre was paying it to the airport authority and we closed it and you closed it for how much i believe it was 13 20 something like that adrian I'm that sounds about right okay so we closed it with no action of any kind of disbursement on it no, because it was a blanket that Debbie had opened like she normally does at the beginning of the year, knowing when we got the paperwork, because we weren't sure whether we were paying it or Pierre was paying it and this, that, and the other, and we went back and forth on it for over a year, and when we were, she was doing the financial state of stuff at the end of the year, Jerry told them to go ahead and close it because his understanding was at the same time that all of us agreed that we were under the impression that Pierre was paying it. To cover that match. To cover match. That's that's not how I remember. But anyhow, we, we are where we are. So so okay. So what's the where are we at? Like, um, how much? What's the total? Third, I mean, to close it out, we need to make the local match. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to make it, and um, we have put fronted forty, fifty thousand. I mean, we've got a lot of money invested in this thing already because of the delays and everything that happened up front and the relocation costs and all that kind of stuff. We want to close it out. No, I, 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 yeah. right. I get that. And those delays were technically the county's fault. Right? No, 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 that was no. actually FAA's fault. Yeah, after, after, after the deal was made, it took us a little time to get the deal made. Okay. But once it was made, it took nine months because the FAA rules say you have to find a, a suitable place okay. where people live. It was all bad. They all wanted bad. to buy a house. They had to go through FHA. I think no they, the deal went down two or three times before it actually happened. So that was okay. a nine month delay. Okay. Um, so, so, okay. Yeah, it was the red tape of the FAA that really that caused that. that okay. Whole Federal government. Government. That wasn't us. Right. No. 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 Well, they originally in May of 21, you guys actually signed the FAA agreement, the application mm -hmm. for both. Yeah, right. I remember that. Yeah. And, it and, waited. Waited. and then you yeah. had to reapply in 22 with just because of the, the additional. Hundred, and yeah. then they separated out the Ford property and yeah. the right. Hodges property. Right, 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 right. 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 Red tape. Red tape. So you know, I guess we're here today. We want to close it out, move on, put it behind us. You know, if there's a misunderstanding, you know, how, do we, how do we work it out to, to move on? So it just cost us thirteen three mm -hmm. approximately to right. finish. It. And, and you know, we didn't ask for or to get ask for a match the last two years because of the FAA funded hundred percent of the grants we had in the last couple of years through the Ford project and things like that. So I mean, we're, we're, I mean, you know, putting the misunderstanding there aside. Other, there was other stuff too that we did. Um, that was a lot of previous. 
from your stuff. Right. So, so what, what, what's the account standing right now with the airport? Where, where, where you, what's your balance right now? Balance of? Do you, do you have, what, how much is in the, in the account? How much is the airport authority sitting on right now? Or is everything budgeted down to, do you have any carryover? Anything oh, yeah, we, um, to put towards this? Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We do. But at the total amounts, we, we could we could cover. We have to. We could cover. We don't want to. No, no. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, I'm just you know. I don't know if it's you know. I've always thought a deal is where everybody's got a little skin in the game. Right. You know, and maybe you know. I mean, we, right we right now we're at about two hundred fifty-five thousand dollars, roughly, with the with the two local matches and the roof. Right? Mm -hmm. So. So let me ask you this so everybody leaves with the, you know, somewhere, somewhere, you know, with what he's saying. If we had around 4000 come in from, from, uh, from that donation. We'll put that towards what it. If we, what if we, what if we, what if we, fill, we, what if we fill in with a difference? Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That's just so that, I, just so that, because at the end of the day, too, I just, was? yeah, I think that there's just, and, and I mean, I'll do you want that as a request for action. Yeah, I just I kind of had heard it one way. I think Tim kind of heard it how I did. Jerry probably yeah. heard it. Jim heard it your way. But I, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I'm not. You, you guys have been doing a phenomenal job yeah. there, and we want to keep this momentum yeah. going. Hundred percent. And we want to be a partner. You yeah. Know? So and so to just in the in the in the spirit of just trying to do the right thing and, and trying to just do it fair. If, we, if you guys are good with that, I'm, I yeah. will support that. And I, yeah, don't take this thing, but like we are completely supportive of the airport. And like we've been that. from the very beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. no. And, 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 you guys are doing great. We should have notes, Ralph. <laughs> 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 no, it is. And you know something we did? Oh, we've, we've been accomplishing a yeah. lot of great things. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And it's, no. it's good. Yeah. No. Really, I mean, if you look at so many things in our county of what actually, you know, operates and runs itself and, and generates money to operate itself, the, op the the airport is really kind of unique because everything else costs money. Whereas you guys are, yeah. you know, I get that we got to feed it, you know, X number of dollars, but at the end of the day, that, that motor keeps running. Well, that was, that was the intent, you know, from the from the new hangers is really so, I mean, the revenue, so you guys are self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, there's big capital improvement and stuff that is just unrealistic, mm -hmm. but, but I think, you know, running this like a business, and that's what we were thinking of again. Sure. And, and uh, that way, you know, going forward in the years to come, that you know, you can make these decisions on your own. Right. You know? Well, you want some new hangers paid off, yeah. and that's that's yeah. total what your current income to. Yeah. yeah. So that next generation is going to enjoy it. The benefit is there, the upside's there, and the momentum's there. And, um, but I think one thing I would like to just stress, take away, and whoever this involves, but. Um, we need to make sure that we continue, because that was, I think, your predecessor, Rick, was um, the communication with our office, and their office was an issue, remember? And then we had to do the whole new MOU, and really, right. it was like a reset, which right. has been great. Right. Great. But we got to make sure we stick to that, and make sure, like, if you need help from Adrian or Christy or Jerry, you know, please, let's make sure we're keeping that, that communication that's good. together. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just business. want to make sure that we're, we're about boards on what we do. Oh, no, yeah, that's, no, no, no. That's, that's, the, the, that's the part. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're all partners. Yeah. Adrian? I do have one question, because uh, we were talking about the uh, the rentals and stuff of the, the hangars and everything. So I just want to know, uh, has the hangar rent been consistent over the last several years, or do you guys Every have a, a rate increase that you do? We just passed 4% last month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's part of our agreement is the cost of living increases and things like that. I, I just I hear I hear this astronomical demand, and usually if you have astronomical demand, it's because your price is too low. Mm -hmm. So you know the the demand and the price got to meet somewhere, or somebody's losing money. Well, the big part about so, the demand is that it's the community and people just want to be here. Right. right. At many of the other airports around, people come, they fly their planes, they leave, and that's it. Here we have. I had eight planes on the ramp the other day, and everybody's just socializing and yeah. chatting, and planes from all over the place. It, it, it might be beneficial just to do some research, though, and yeah. make sure that that yeah. we're in. You don't want to be high, I mean, but you also we, don't want to be every, way at the bottom. Every either. year we look at the cost of living, and we look at the six our biggest yeah. competitors. Right. As we do that with the hangar rent as well as fuel yeah. costs. Okay. Okay. So we're well above the lowest, and above the highest. 
to as far as our rent profiles go. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we have we do have a range from the old four and five buildings up to the new buildings. And right. Those are looking, looking at the range. financial statements though that you sent. It looks according to the rental income, you guys are just making a little bit more than what we charged you the for the seven hundred fifty dollar loan. Yeah, for that building, we're basically scratch breaking even. We're not making that much more money right right now. But then those rents do increase over time. Oh, sure. So okay. that's going to really become an offset more okay. and more. As and we go now, forward. when do we begin to start paying down the buildings? Uh, well, they've already started paying. The first check, and I've got the second check ready. To oh, okay. So a, so a year went by. Was that the yep. deal? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Year yeah. Yeah. April. 1st. April. April was the, is the first month that they started okay. paying back. Okay. The other thing too is I'll tell you I, I I think that the whole restaurant thing you know not this Sunday but two Sundays last Sunday I went down to flew into Carroll and I, I'm telling you it's it was packed at two thirty in the afternoon you know and it's like we we got to we we've got to try to figure something out with we've got interest with food trucks to start doing that is that right yeah 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 because so uh, I'm just saying it's it's a huge draw and, and it's and there's not a whole lot, uh, you know, not a whole lot around we, to be able to do that. Just had that discussion at the last board meeting where we've got interest in the food truck and we're going to try and set up a one day, two days a week. Uh, for starters. For, for starters, for, for the flying traffic as well as uh, local businesses because there's no food on that side of town. Right. Just talk to Freddie about that because um, I know we've had discussion here about doing that here and you, you want to make sure that you have the proper insurance certificates. Um, in place with them. From, from them or for us? Oh, oh. They, have to, they have to provide you insurance certificates. Right, yeah. as we do with everybody else. Yeah, I just, I'm, just I right know here. it's specific. No, this is, so we do have a journey paid in a couple minutes. Oh, poor Jerry. I <laughs> agree. <laughs> <Hey, Green. laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. That's no, true. that's 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 good. Yeah, no, it, it is a discussion. Yeah. You know, and we've we've got a lot going on, and we're trying to wrap up some things this year before we jump into some more. Yeah, yeah. Keep the momentum going in the building, and get that flywheel turning. Yeah. Rick, you should have the resolution from the last time that we did it. Yeah. All you have to do is just take it and update it. And send it over to me. If you can get that to me, then we can get that that through. Um, we can get that done next week. If you can get me the difference on the dollar amount, I'll get with Adrian and we'll look at numbers and, and figure out what we have to do on our side to get you guys to do the, the difference on on the local match that we can get that taken care of. I'll try to get that done today. And then let, call me and let me know when you guys are ready to look at the dates, and then we'll look at yep. your because we do bid openings on Wednesday. Okay. At starting at 2 o'clock. Cut off for bids is 1.45 and we open starting at 2. Um, but I do have bid opening scheduled, so we'll adjust the time based on what else is going on that day. And what type of time frame from the time that uh, we get the bid packet ready to go to advertise to the bid? Once it goes through session on Tuesday, like if we do it on Tuesday morning, typically sometimes they're getting it in the paper that week. Okay. On Thursday, your deadline for Thursday of that week. So like today, if they approved an ad, you would have to have it there by noon today in order to make Thursday's paper. Um, and I would say that you want to run like maybe one or two weeks, um, and depending on what paper you're going to That's advertise it in. Maple Leaf is Thursdays, News Herald is Friday, they have a different deadline on, on the time period of when, it, when it's due. Um, and then you're looking, you want to you want to give at least a week to two weeks from your advertisement to your actual bid opening date. The other thing you want to consider is whether, because this is such a large project, whether you want to have a pre-bid meeting and whether you want it to be mandatory for your bidders. Okay, you can help me with that, right? Because that's going to have to be included in your bid specs. If you're going to require them to do that, then that would be in there. And then when we go to open the bids, we would need to make sure that we have your um, pre-bid meeting sign-in sheet to make sure that they were in attendance and whether or not we can actually open their bids or not. Because okay. if they don't attend and they place, they drop <coughs> off a bid, it can't be read. Right. So we can help them out and Brian can help you with that too. Correct. 
it. So then when we come out of the work session, we could uh, we could we could at least get this moving with this uh, runway taxiway. Uh, taxiway, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. That'd be great. All right. Is well, there any question or anything else? I think we should to do the pre application. Pre application. The pre -application. Pre -application. Okay. The final. Well, yeah, the exactly. That's all for that. Yeah. 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 So I, I kind of prepped something um, to include the uh, an approximate local match not to exceed hundred thousand dollars. Right. Yeah, that's probably easy. So yeah. when you guys are done, are you, is there anything else? So anybody else have any other questions? Adrian, anything else that you? No, I'm good. Thank you Thank guys you. for your time. Thank you. Anytime you wanna to okay. kind of get together one on one. I'm happy to. Oh, yeah, so for sure. Yeah, thanks the work for session. Work session. Yeah, thanks for that. 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 Yeah, thanks for Diane Jones from Auburn, um, and uh, I appreciate the three gentlemen coming up here and explaining it to you. Uh, it's unfortunate that some of us don't know their names, and they left before we had the That's opportunity Jim to identify them. Jim so Jim he's a board member. Chris Schloss is the, was the gentleman in the middle, and Rick Blammer is the Okay, hold, hold on. I mean, I'd, I'd appreciate 
all three names because so I will be pass. including that. I'm sorry? Chip Pass. Was I'm just, was yeah. It? Chip was who? Chip Pass. He's the current president of the airport commission. H-E-F-F. H-E-F-F. Okay. Chris Schloss. Chris who? Schloss. Oh. S-H-L-O-S-S. S-C-H-L-O-S-S. Oh, yeah, the Deutsche Fort. From the contract. And uh, the third gentleman? Correct. That's Rick Blamer. He's their yeah. administrator. Thank you. All right, anything else? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, up in regards to the airport discussion, am I correct that the last discussion you had about the 4000 they got and so on had to do with the purchase of the property needed yeah, so this was a piece of property that there was a there was a home at the end yeah. of the runway. I remember that. Yep, and, I remember uh, it too. So so that that home was you know was something that um, they had had in their plans to try to purchase. You know, they've got the airport has a like a five year plan, ten year plan. And it was part of the plan is to to be able to purchase that property. Well, the owner had approached them with the interest to sell it, and he's also part of the. Um, you know, he, he's an aviator himself and he, you know, wanted to support the airport. So the way that the FAA has it, when they enter into these programs to be able to cover things, they have to get, I believe it's three appraisals, or two, two appraisals, and, um, and, and they don't take the lowest one, they take the highest one. Well, they came up with the appraisal and that's what the FAA, in order for them to cover the match, it has to be that number. So with us, we have a 5% match. So for every 100,000, we would cover 5,000, which in this case was about 170 some thousand, or close to 190,000, I believe, after all the costs and stuff. So it would have had uh, you know, that and some additional admin fees that we had to pay. But other than that, I mean, it's a good deal, just like we're doing this. We're getting a $1.8 million taxi weight put in hundred thousand dollars and that, that includes the engineering and everything so it's a it's, it's a great great deal for the county to be able to make those improvements yeah, ODOT, ODOT also yeah. is right all that matches an additional five percent also it, yeah because FAA pays 90 percent and the 10 percent is split uh, between ODOT and, and the county ODOT matches on the property purchase as well mm -hmm. Yeah, so they kind of piggyback on each other. But other than that, anyone else have anything? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Beth Big. I'm from uh, U.S. Senator J.D. Manson's office. I just wanted to uh, stop by. Hopefully, have a chance to meet you all and um, you know look forward to learning more about your community. Um, I served on Hudson City Council for almost seven years, and um, so familiar with the good work that that you all do as county commissioners. So I appreciate the sacrifice and the effort that you make for your community. Um, but just want to be in, uh, have open dialogue, you know, if you need help uh, on the federal government side or uh, if you need any constituent services related, love to be, you know, that conduit for you. Thank yeah. you very much and for coming. And I brought some cards for you too so that, I'll, that I'll come up after. Thanks for, uh, thanks for spending the time to come visit a little old jargon. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> how's, uh, how's everything going? Maybe Oh, Didn't fantastic. He's hit just, the ground running, I'm oh, sure. Absolutely, yeah. I've yeah. never seen a more driven, um, just smart, capable, yet yep. humble individual. He's he's just like going off like a rocket. He's, yeah. he's been amazing. We've, we've worked so hard with so many issues in East Palestine and, and yeah. things like that, and I'm just continuously impressed um, and just really grateful to be a part of the team. That's awesome. So now where are you based out of? Uh, so we, our, our office, our Northeast Ohio office is at uh, the Celebrezy building in downtown okay. Cleveland. Um, I live in Hudson, so I'm sort of back and forth, but I'm really on the road. I cover 20 counties, um, so I'm in my car a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but it's been great fun to meet so many oh, yeah. wonderful people and just to see the, you know, Northeast Ohio. And sure. It's fantastic, so. Great. Well, I'm happy to help if. If any of your constituents have passport issues or, or anything else or need letters of support for projects, federal projects or anything like that, you know, please reach out to me. I'll, I'll give you my card before I go. Excellent. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. All right.
So with that, uh, uh, motion to adjourn. Second. What time is it? Uh, and um, just a second. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah.